So hey everyone, this is Dangerous Diva with We Are Gamer Girls, and today I'm actually going to be playing something a little bit different. It's called Gone Home, as you can see on my screen, and I wouldn't necessarily classify it as a video game. Um, I mean, it is a game, but it, it's more, it plays more as an, an interactive story, um, so it is a little bit bit different you know there's not really any choices you make it's um you know i don't want to really surprise but it's almost more like you're exploring someone's life so without further ado let's go ahead and get started Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. a bit. Ducky. Oh, he's an expensive ducky. Okay, so this must be where we hold our items. Yeah, it's just a bunch of garbage. Hey there. Happy Sunday. I think I can just throw shit. I'm green by airport. Damn, I was like five. Okay, so we have the key. I just love to explore everything, don't want to miss anything. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but there's a possible place. Please don't go digging out trying to find it. No, no, no. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be weird. Interesting, okay. This game, I don't even know if you could really call it a game. It, I played it before on PC and it was free on the consoles now to play. Um, it's more like an interactive story, so basically what you go around doing is just finding notes, you know, things. You do have to, like, find keys to unlock rooms and this and that, but I, I don't really know that I would consider it, um, like a normal type game, I guess, if that makes any sense. It's almost like you're exploring someone's life. 
So I did play it probably about a year and a half ago, but I don't really remember all of it, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to, to stream playing it again. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Nah, I don't need you. <laughs> this is kind of fun throwing shit. Ah. Need that TP though. Oh, it's got a baby. Babies don't use toilet paper, though. Shame on you, developer. It's actually probably their kid or something. If I remember correctly... A lot of these doors are locked. I don't need to keep grabbing all this random shit. in the wrong fucking button. So mom must be some type of like park ranger. I think I'm just gonna leave that open so I know I explored it already. Cool story, bruh. Nothing really over here. Locked. Always locked. Where's the good stuff? an Amsterdam lucky bitch.
<laughs> I love that. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but pretty much says, Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Are we good? Okay. Let me see the family. Sam, Katie, Mom. So those of you just joining us now, um, if you haven't heard of this game before, it's actually more like an interactive story. Um, so basically I'm just sort of going around and exploring um, this house, which is gonna kind of tell a story of somebody's life, so it's a little bit different, a little more laid back. Um, no, not really action packed, it's more storyline driven. Um, Like some of these things just seem... Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name. But they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. I love how it just throws it. <laughs> Yeah. Patty. Alright. So this girl travels like a lot. That's what we've concluded thus far. <laughs> Must be nice, right? I don't think there's anything else. Spooky! Just kidding, really not that scary. I like scary. Have any of you guys ever played this before, or is this the first time that you're seeing it? It was available for PC, I think, like, two years ago, maybe? And I think they must have remade it for a console. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's definitely a different kind of game, and if you don't really have a lot of time or a lot of want to read notes and find little things, then it's definitely not for you, but I kind of like that, you know, not for every single game, but I always liked finding everything, and yeah, if you have a PS or a PS4, um, it's free. I don't know about Xbox, um, if they're offering it for free as well, but it was free for me to download from PSN, um, with PlayStation Plus. I won't give away any spoilers too, but the ending's kind of cool, and I definitely think it's very, uh, what's the right way to say it, kind of a cool story with a lot of things that have been happening in the world right now. Um, once you get to the end, it's kind of cool. But like this, like, ain't nobody got time to read all this. Like, come on. I just don't like leaving any stone unturned. That's kind of creepy. Oh shit. I don't know the combination. Um, I think they want you to feel like it, um, it's definitely got a good creep factor, but I will tell you right now that this is not a horror game, um, so you won't find yourself scared, other than really exploring kind of an old creepy house with a storm going on in the background, but if you're looking for kind of like a horror game, this isn't really... It's more about following, like, this little teenage girl's life and kind of, I guess, digging deeper into that her relationship with others and blah, blah, blah. It's definitely, like, a newer type of game. Like, I've never really played a game like this where it's, you know, more just a story. But I am having fun just chucking this random stuff. Apparently dad writes. Ooh, I think I found the safe code. Zero four five one. Hmm. 
can barely read that, but okay. It's legal documents, guess. Did I look through all this? Ooh. Oops. God, why are these so hard to read? So dad must be writing a new book or something. <laughs> nice story, dad. Break stuff? Can we break stuff? Oh, damn it. I feel like this would be like the perfect room to have like a secret passage or something. Like, you know, there's something hidden in these walls. You can just feel it. right here. Okay. Oh, I hate those siren things. Someone likes X-Files. This is a severe weather Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tacoma County. That voice acting is a little... Strongly a little cheesy. Doors ...and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. It's gonna... we're gonna die. Damn, these people need a maid. start a fire no damn okay you know what motherfucker shut up Oh, those stickers, though. Hey, what's up? Oh, Dad, that's not what you, you give your teenage feeling, daughter. Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. 
Till I noticed Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Street Fighter, guys. Looks like someone built a little fort. Hello, fight, yes. I know there's a way to crunch down, but I forget. Well, that hauntings and poltergeist. I need that book though. How do you crouch down again? Changes the channel. Hmm. Not much to see in here, I guess. Although we didn't check this yet. Yeah, dance party. Nothing. Not my style. Can you guys hear the game audio okay? I know that I've had problems before where like my voice is way louder than the game. all going through a headset so it's hard to tell oh dear god <laughs> Do not miss school. Man, these people are into some weird ass music. Here we go. Party time. Dude was obsessed with JFK. Like, what is this? <laughs> Just no. a lot of records. When you live in one place your whole life, 
Your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. <laughs> always the Nintendo games with this girl. It's my kind of girl. My lip gloss be popping. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. I think that's it for the first floor as far as what we can open right now. So onward and upward, literally. <sighs> I'm sort of thinking that this game is going to be a lot like how the new Resident Evil is going to be. I was kind of watching... I don't know if any of you are Resident Evil players, fans, or anything, but I think it's going to play more like Silent Hills, where you're kind of walking around exploring stuff in first person like this. Where's the light switch? Did I miss it? Blah, blah, blah. No one cares. Bratmobile. What does that say? Oh, just the song names. There's something in the middle, but I can't see it. You're gonna love this, okay? It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is, like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. Oh, I put the Nintendo games with this girl. Playing it since. <laughs> he wants his games back.
Ah, uh, how does it make an awful noise? Well, we have a Nintendo game, but no Nintendo. It's annoying. <sighs> Good old days of cheats. I used to have like a book of Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas cheats. really what people listen to in the 90s oh my god I used to do these things where like you stare at them and then they like have an image in them in like 3d more games And open they'd have some real ones. Where's her system though? Like Anne Frank followers, I had one of those. So we must be the sister, Katie, exploring Sam's room right now. I look so young. <laughs> Nerd. I don't know about y'all, but if my room was this messy, my mom would kick my ass when I was a kid.
Clean your room, girl. Okay, so somewhere we need to find the combination for that. Did I miss that anywhere? Did you guys see? I don't think I've seen a number anywhere. Thought somebody died. <laughs> Just hair dye. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. I feel creepy like digging through people's rooms like their house fine but their rooms Where does mom go and not take her purse with? dig through their underwear drawer is that just creepy <laughs> oh this game is funny That stash, though. <laughs> Ew. 
legit dirty underwear. I like the random pictures. TP or where? Come on, where's the good stuff? I would so play that game. Would you guys play that game? I like scary games. What is it? It's like highlighting something over here. Maybe it's just that string. Well, this is a boring room. <laughs> Her ghost adventure journal. This room's kind of creepy.
Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. What the fuck? garbage that's not creepy or anything I think I need to find a key to this. Must have missed something.
I must have missed something, guys. I don't know where. Somehow we gotta get that basement unlocked. Oh, what's this? Her shop started clothes on her in the bed, like, ew.
Hey there. Just exploring. It sort of seems like it would be scary, but it's not, uh, probably not what you're hoping for, unfortunately. It's more of like an interactive story. Um, I mean, there's a storm going on in the background, the house is dark, so you hear noises, that type of thing, but it's not a horror game. Um, oops. Zero fifty one. Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... Naughty. But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Nice stolen clothes.
It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess oh, that's the real difference. Now yeah, when we get off the phone or go home for the night. Or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. This is a big ass basement. band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show.
just gonna... They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, yeah. and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? about who she is. She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes.